Okay. Steven here. Harry is putting on a shirt right now. <laughs> we are underneath the Memphis Bridge right now. So you hear that sound? That is actually the sound of trucks on the bridge. So we're going into Memphis to film some weird stuff. Harry, what are we checking out today? So we got a lot of feelers out there, so I guess we'll just figure it out. All right. Uh, I like that. Let's play it by ear. All right, let's get on the road. So, Harry and I are outside the Memphis Central Police Building that is currently abandoned. You can see there, it's pretty, pretty elaborate. It closed. Really cool architecture. Absolutely. It uh, opened in 1911 and closed in 1982. And apparently it has set abandoned ever since. A little online research says the city found out it was going to cost about 40 million to renovate, so they just said, no thanks. So, it is set here completely abandoned for several years. Pretty cool. And we are at the corner of Adams and 2nd Street. By the way, for those people who like urban exploring but don't want to trespass like us, you can go to artofabandonment.com and it actually has pictures of the interior of this building. So, pretty cool. Check that out. Let's go get a couple uh, pictures from the side. It's a lot bigger than what you think looking at it straight on. Look at that. It's incredible. I wanna go in. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> If you can see up that high, you can see there's bars over the windows, and these have been all boarded off. It's amazing. Architecture, columns, and intricate work up top. So. We would love to go inside right now, but wouldn't it be ironic if we got arrested for breaking into an abandoned police station? <laughs> yeah, it would. It's like, there's a alley over here. Let's check it out. Yep. Oh, and by the way, that I believe is 100 North Main. Yes. Which also sits abandoned. Is that right, Harry? That's correct. The tallest building downtown Memphis. Wow. Fourteen oh eight Rainer. And Steven's going to tell us a little bit about this place. Maybe not the best place to get out and uh, narrate, but really, really cool house with, with a cool story. Okay, so the house that Harry just filmed, 1408 Rainer, that was Machine Gun Kelly's hideout in 1933. Not Machine Gun Kelly the rapper. <laughs> Machine Gun Kelly, the Prohibition era uh, gangster. Uh, he rode to prominence, uh, rose to prominence rather in the 1920s. He was a bootlegger and his most notorious crime was he 
kidnapped an oil tycoon and held him for ransom for $200,000 at a separate location. And that went off the rails. That plan went awry and he went into hiding at the house that, uh, that we just filmed. And he was eventually tracked down there by the feds in 1933. He was arrested and it was a very high profile trial. It was one of the first trials where cameras were actually allowed into the courtroom. And it was also one of J. Edgar Hoover's biggest convictions, uh, one of his first big convictions anyway. So it was a pretty big trial. Uh, Machine Gun Kelly ended up in the federal penitentiary. I can never say that word. Can you say that word? Penitentiary. Penitentiary. There it is. <laughs> he ended up in jail, part of which he served his time, part of which in uh, Alcatraz. Uh, but wow. he uh, he died in prison. So kind of a sad ending to the story there. But that was the place that he was nabbed. 19, no, 19, 1408 Rainer Street. Very cool. So, I've wondered about this for a long time. I'm at 1185 Colonial, and you can see there appears to be a bomb planted in the front yard of this house. Well, I just talked to the homeowner. Uh, he said that it was his wife's grandfather who was a river rat and took this home one day. He stayed out all day on the river, apparently. That is not a bomb. It is a water buoy. Did I say that right? Water buoy? I don't know. But you can see it's actually upside down, so it gives the appearance of a bomb. But <laughs> pretty interesting. He also said the reason that he brought it home and basically implanted it into his front yard was because he had a hard time finding the house. And with that there, you couldn't be mistaken, this is the house. But he said that this particular piece of art has been here for 73 years. It's crazy. So, <laughs> we, uh, we just tried unsuccessfully to get on the grounds of the old Marine Hospital. It's worth the, worth the shot. Right. Yeah, Harry tried his best. Uh, the old Marine Hospital is right next to the Metal Museum, and it, it is being renovated, I think, made into condos, possibly. Is that right, Harry? That is, that is correct. Okay. So, it is currently under construction and we really wanted to get some interior footage, but we were referred to the superintendent of the construction here and told to come back uh, during the week. So, it's worth a shot, but yeah, a lot of history there. By the way, you know I can't do a video without telling a creepy story. <laughs> One of my uh, police buddies was stationed in this area and I hope he doesn't mind me telling the story, but he said he got an alarm call here with a partner. And he came here and it was currently abandoned like it is now. And they went in, they saw no signs of disturbance. He said while they were in the building, they distinctly both heard the sound of something heavy being dragged across the floor. Whoa. Yep, so they were both freaked out as you can imagine. And he said they started going room by room. And this is a huge place, clearing each room one at a time. And they never found the source of that disturbance. But this guy's completely uh, trustworthy. And uh, yeah, so. It's wild. Creepy place.
So, can you basically just paraphrase what the what you're looking at there on the stone? Yeah, yeah. So this is the actually it's, it's going to be over here the Chiska Mound, uh, and the Chiska Mound was named after. Uh, the chief of the Indian tribe or Native American tribe which originally inhabited this region. According to this stone, uh, these mounds were constructed by aboriginal inhabitants and are of unknown antiquity. Very interesting. Uh, we go up in time from there. In this area, Hernando de Soto viewed the Mississippi River in May of 1541. Very cool. Wow. Uh, and going forward in time from there, uh, we've got some more information about uh, this mound being used as a artillery artillery readout uh, during the Civil War, uh, 1863. Uh, so the mound was excavated, artillery was kept inside during the Civil War. If you were looking for the enemy coming up river. This would be the place to do it. You'll see what I'm talking about in just a minute. But uh, look at that. There's a big river. We were trying to set up somewhere to, to make sure nobody was coming up river to attack you. This would be the place to set up. Well, we made it to the Shire, but it's uh, it's blocked off here as you can see. <laughs> that took me too long to get. <laughs> uh, Frodo come out. Yeah, come on, man. All right. We not. There you go. <laughs> so my understanding is this is was a mound to store artillery during the yeah. Civil War? Yeah. So this is uh I guess what would have been one of the doors. So they excavated the mound, and I, I forget what year it said, 1863 or something like that, and then they just used it to store all, all the, all the art, artillery. Wow, here it is, still here. Oh, just a quick glance around. Again, we're on the Chiska Mound, and there, of course, off in the distance, the barge you can see and over here is the metal museum we could probably do an entire video on that just in itself and then right next door through the trees you can see the marine hospital that is currently being renovated really a cool area down here especially if you want to get a really nice view of the river and it's not very crowded right now. It never is, is it? No. No, it's just kind of uh, it's kind of hidden, which makes it nice, in my opinion. You got really good view of those three bridges right here: uh, the Frisco, the Harahan, and the Memphis, Arkansas bridge. Uh, two built in the 1800s. That's another um, insane engineering feat. I don't know how you get. How'd they get it, all that stuff in the ground in the Mississippi River? Right. Fascinates me. And it, what it, they probably had mules and <laughs> a couple right. of wooden barges, you know? Like, <laughs> I don't know how they did it, but there it is. Still standing today. Yes, sir. Really cool. 